Mr Nisi, he is a wee cracker. He is a little gem. Isn't he? I... His first television appearance, and so far, so good. So far, so good. What a pro, what a pro. Now, big surprise. Yes. Huge it, surprise he was. He was a huge surprise because, um, you know, having had three children, we thought we were past, you know, going for <laughs> another. Um, I thought I was actually entering menopause, and um, lo and behold... There he was. There he was. There he was. Did there you have any worries about that, about being, you know, I mean, 46, and your husband's about 10 years older? Yes, he is. Did you, I mean, because it, it was a bit of a shock, <laughs> but did you have any sort of concerns about being that little bit older? I was a bit concerned about being older, about any potential complications, sure, sure. his health, my health. And my mum was really worried um, okay. about whether my body could go through. Sure. It is a traumatic experience. Pregnancy can be very, very difficult. Mm. And um, she was just concerned that I'd be able to manage and hold it all together. But, you know, the pregnancy was difficult. Mm. During the labour, I have to say, the labour was very challenging uh, towards the towards the end. You know, I, my contractions were were almost disappearing. They, oh, they'd start and then there was nothing. And that really made the, the health professionals get quite anxious mm. about him. Any time I did have a contraction, his heart rate was dropping massively. Oh, and so there was alarm bells. Mm. And at one stage, I thought I was going to have to have an emergency C-section. Oh, but... Um, I wanted to just get him out safely. Of course, that's the, that's the main thing. Do you think your training as an athlete helped you during that really, really tough time? I think the mental approach to, to giving birth, you, you do have to visualise and trust that everything's going to be well and be confident in the people around you. And that's a bit like your, your athletic team. You have yes, to have faith in what they're safe. doing. But I think, in essence, being healthy and, and exercising throughout mm. my pregnancy... And you did. I mean, you exercised right the way through. But at the same time, being 46, I didn't want to take any chances by right. being too um, exuberant in the gym. I of just course. wanted to tick along. You knew what to do. Yes, I knew what yeah. to do, and I didn't want to risk my health and, and his. And so I thought keeping good nutrition <laughs> is having a little bite. Good nutrition, good nutrition. Good and good health. Wow. Well, <laughs> Gnawing great. at your mum, which is fine. He is absolutely gorgeous. And you've said he's completely changed your lives and, and the lives of the whole family. Yes, he has. He's been an absolute um, blessing. He's been a blessing to have. The kids gravitate towards him. And that relationship between seeing the children, how they... They actually focus and dote on him. Mm -hmm. It's changed the oh, dynamics throughout the house. Lovely, lovely photos. Boys love him. And they were delighted when you told them he was on the way. They were delighted, <laughs> but they were unsure of how right. they, their position, how they would be affected. Um, but you realise that you've got so much love to give each and every one in the, of them in a different way. Yeah. And I think he couldn't have come at a better time for me just in my own, my own life. You know, oh, he's great. There's moments in your life when you just have to pause and take time and yeah. enjoy the moment. And he's given me that because you can rush around. Parenthood is difficult yeah. with old, older children, but he's made me focus again about <laughs> on me and him and just that uh, You are gorgeous. You're absolutely gorgeous. And do you think you were calmer this time because it may be being a little bit older, you know, you've had three kids already. I, I it just definitely... feels, yeah, there's a calmness there. And... Because he's brilliant. I mean, he, he's fantastic. Look at him. I would say not just being an older mum, I'm an experienced mum. Exactly. And I think exactly. that's given me a lot of confidence. So I don't panic. I don't get flustered. I, I take it in my stride. Um, and despite everyone saying, oh, you know, you are older, you know, that's got to be, the sleep deprivation must be very difficult. I found that, you know, if you're not in a rush and you take time to get in tune with your baby, exactly. that you can sell through it. Yeah. And... And it helps that he's got this great nature. I mean, he's just, he's hilarious. He's been laughing at everybody. He's been absolutely fantastic. He's just a gorgeous, gorgeous wee thing. And of course, the job that you do, because I know you work really hard, you do lots of punditry all over the place, and you can take him with you right now. You know, I, that, that's yeah, doable. I have, I've actually done a few um, events um, so far this year, and it's, I needed that for myself to know that I could get up and get going and make sure that, you know, my career was still yeah, ticking along but enjoy my baby at the same time. And I think if you're relaxed and adaptable and prepared to have a go, he'll just follow suit, and he has been. He's been brilliant. No, very, he's very good. I, th I do sometimes think babies take that from you. You know, if you're 
if you're very calm, you're very relaxed, everything's okay there, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I, and I, it's just been an absolute poppet. Yeah, well, yeah. Yes, he has been a poppet. <laughs> I'm expecting him. Do you know what I feel like? I feel as if he's going to start talking to me. <laughs> well, he has been known to babble along. He has. And... Well, I've been known to do that as well. <laughs> I'd babble away. <laughs> but as I said, being an older mom, I think it seems to be a, a, a thing that women are doing with, whether sure. it's because of careers yeah, or just finding that they're in the yeah. place where they're able to to conceive and want to have another one it's it's been great and i do advocate you no, know very much so being an older so. mom the temperament is is so special I, I i've found myself being really just in tune and happy i'm in a good place you are it's fantastic to see you and thank you for bringing him in to see us he's just absolutely gorgeous he's found his feet now hours of endless entertainment he's found his sock it's taking everything in aren't you you're Found his sock. Come back and see us really soon. Dude. We will do. Good luck with everything that you do. He's beautiful. Congratulations.